Rachel, Kayla's story on the Four Seasons in Saudi Arabia and how they are targeting women in a particularly conservative market is uh, kind of brilliant marketing, right? I mean, who is marketing to women wanting to go to Saudi Arabia? Right, yeah, I think it's, um, it's a pretty ingenious idea. Um, I know that there are a lot of um, women who are business women and, you know, they can't, um, or, you know, they might not feel safe going to places like Saudi Arabia. So, you know, kind of catering to them, um, pampering them, you know, putting them kind of there in their own environment is just kind of a great way to get um, them in there. And it's kind of, um, you know, obviously since it's a, an upscale uh, hotel, there's probably going to be more security. Um, it's a little nicer and they're probably going to feel a lot safer there. And, you know, the Saudi uh, nation has strong ties to the U.S. through business. Right. And very often uh, a lot of Americans go to Saudi Arabia for oil-related uh, work and energy and, you know, consumer packaged goods and foods. And uh, so how is the this Four Seasons program instructive to luxury marketers looking to target women traveling to the Middle East? Um, well, I think it just kind of it kind of sets the bar for all other luxury hotels um, who are trying to draw women there. Um, and as you were saying before about the U.S., like there are a lot of um, you know business people that come from the U.S. and maybe women wouldn't feel safe going to Saudi Arabia. But I mean, it's not just a woman only hotel. There are men there too. So um, you know, like mixed uh, business partners, men and women, would be able to both go there and feel safe, which is I think is kind of genius marketing as well. Mm. Season for change.